What's up fellow gamers, Kevin J2010 here, welcoming you back to some more Super Mario Sunshine in the last episode. I did an epic trailer voice for like at least half the episode and it kind of really hurts now. So I have water near me and I'm gonna try to do this. We didn't do this in the last episode. At la bleh 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 bleh. We didn't get this one in the last episode because we actually went for this uh, the other secret shine in this world. So um... That is why we're going for the red coins in the coral reef right now. Ha ha, you can't catch me, Mr. Cataquack. Mr. Cataquack, you're a caterpillar and a quack. And caterpillar and a quack, quack, caterpillar and a quack, quack, you're a quacker. But we don't know what skin color you are, so I don't think we can call you a quacker. But we try our best, because we're going to do the rest of the work for you, because we'll find the red coins. The red coins are the way the blue coins. I'm not good at freestyling. That's why, this is why I'm not a rapper. But guys, I really wanted to be a rapper at one point in my life. Please make my dream come true. <laughs> no, I'm actually, I was more into rock anyway. I think rock is better anyway, because it involves more instruments. Even though like, I've been really into dubstep and a lot of people make, a lot of people install dubstep for a similar reason. It's just made with a computer. People just like to complain about things though. I find, no, the red coin, I see it. I want to get it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Oh god, this thing likes to eat you. As you can see, as it's trying to eat me. Get over- Okay, got it. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, you just gotta swim around the coral reef and find them. They're actually kind of well hidden, but if you zoom the camera out enough, they're not too bad, because you can pan the camera around. There's one over here. B- Press B button to dive, by the way. I don't think I ever said that. A is to swim up and on top of the water. B is to swim down to the bottom. And we're at six. This is when it gets confusing. This is a lot of people's least favorite mission because, um, not least favorite, but it's one of the ones that a lot of people would say is like an annoying mission in this game because it's actually kind of hard to find all the, all the red coins. Oh, it just went into the wall. Oh, 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 er, get, okay, okay, Ugh. I've been playing a lot of Genesis games recently and, um, a couple of games I've played. They have this really like, they have this urg sound when you, when, like, just, they just have that sound in like, their soundboard or whatever. I don't know, a lot of games seem to do it. And it's just like the, it's a really hilarious sound when I hear it. Urg. <laughs> Something like that. Oh god, but I can't do it after that last episode. I highly suggest you watch the last episode. Go to the top bar and click the last 10 videos and look at it. And if you're watching this like, by the time it's been replaced by something, I apologize, but seriously, it was a funny episode, and it's times like that. It's times like that when I wonder why. Oh, there's the last red coin. <clears throat> it's times like that when I'm a little upset that you know, I'm a little upset that my that that viewership is so down these days. I I'm not I'm not mad about any viewers that I do get. Still, it's just like I have 2,400 subscribers almost. And you know, no one. And I don't have that many so And I don't have that many views. I have that many subs, but not that many views. But what's what's up? What's up with the world, mama? But uh, that that's. <clears throat> it doesn't bother me. The views itself don't matter. It's just the fact that they used to be a lot higher, and now they're not as high, and it's kind of a bother. And it's kind of like some of my recent videos. I feel have been really funny. I feel that I've put a lot of work into them, and I not. <clears throat> well, I, I do put in work into them as a let's play in itself. Like that is work on its own. But I mean, uh, wow. I've been trying to do that like every single time. Anyway, it, it, it's like I put in a little bit more work than some people. Some people just let's play, they legitimately just hit record and upload it and they're super popular. Not making fun of them, but I'm just saying like some people do that. So it's, it's the amount of work doesn't necessarily matter. But I do put work into it and sometimes I feel like, man, that episode was really funny. I hope people enjoy it. And then it gets like only 100 views out of my 2,400 subscribers. And then it's like, oh, great. Now I understand why you guys like me so much. Because you don't like me at all. Okay. Leave a comment about how much you like me. Anyway, we're beating Shadow Mario again. Wow. I just... Leave a comment about how much you like me. That's not an ego boost at all, is it? Guys, I'm not egotistical, I swear. No, get, get, ow. This is actually a decently hard one because he starts doing a lot of, he starts doing a lot of smart stuff at this point. Let's see which way he goes, he goes this way. 
He's got to be a few hits away from dead, so... Ah, see, I knew it. Dang it! This ain't over! I haven't been reading his voice, really. Oh, I want to think if I did something like that, it would glitch, but it's too late now. Yeah, another one. Okay. Same continue. We only have one more shrine left to get here, and it is known as one of the hardest missions in the game. Oh my God, that really. I'm gonna take a drink of water, and I don't care if you guys hear me. Coach Susie's done it a few times. Oh God, that feels so good. Okay. Oh, I can't get what I did that one time. Man, I'm having, a, I'm having a good time recording today. You know, sometimes I say to myself, I gotta record like five episodes today, and I'm gonna be like, oh god, five? And then my, my body tells me that, the Watermelon Festival, woohoo! And I have to say to myself, I need to record five episodes. That's a lot of episodes to record. And then I end up having a great time. And then I'm like, man, I love Let's Playing. It's like the most fun thing ever. Because it is. It really is. Anyway. I'm going to bonk him on the head. Whoa, jeez. I bonked him on the head. Anyway, so the way it's... Oh, woo -hoo. Okay, anyway, what happens at the Watermelon Festival? We need to get a watermelon to win the Watermelon Festival. Because if you win the Watermelon Festival, you get a Shine Sprite. I'm not going to make anything that... I'm not going to say anything about what Chuck Conroy said. Because... He said, like, Mario, something about Mario doesn't even win his own challenges or anything. But you know what? I don't care. Anyway, so you gotta get this watermelon here. All the way down to that, that ranch, that seaside villa right there. So you gotta, you gotta roll it. Now this thing has, like, the touchiest control scheme ever. It's not as bad as... See, like that. I was about to say, it's not as bad as the one in Okami. Oh, man, it's worse than the one in Okami. The ball-pushing physics in Okami. You know, I barely even remember it. I only played that game a few... I beat it. I beat that game, but I, I don't remember much about it. Anyway, you got You can take it this way. This is where you want to take it. Man, this wasn't as hard as I remember it. It's like to control it. I'm, I'm doing surprisingly well as I'm about to drop it off the side there. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to bring it as far to the right as you can... And... What?! I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything wrong! Why does the game hate me? You just wanna get up the hill. You just wanna get up the hill. You just wanna get up the hill. Up the hill! Okay, we're good. Up the hill. Up the hill. Anyway. Okay. So now we gotta get this watermelon over there. I might montage this all together if I just start failing a lot. Okay, good, it glitched. <laughs> I thought I was gonna know. Okay, but it's gonna come with me. It's gonna come with me, and I'm just gotta guide it in the right direction from here. No, if a cataquack gets it, the cataquack will destroy it. As you can see, it doesn't break. No! It broke. As you see, there's a lot of smaller watermelons around the area. But, uh,. Obviously, you need the biggest one, because it's who can grow the biggest watermelon wins, and Mario likes to cheat, as we know. Whoa! I wish you could... I wish you could hop into the, uh... Into the flood from that, into the hover nozzle. But, no, you can't. Of course not. Of course not, because this game sucks. Remember... Remember the way Emil did it. Yeah, I talk about him a lot when I do this project. But anyway, the way he does it, the way he did it, he, uh... He took it the really slow way. I don't want to take it a really slow way. You can take it a really slow way, because you can shoot all these. One thing you can do is you can shoot all these guys to be flopped over. And if you flop them all over, if you knock them all over and jump on them, they're not going to ruin your watermelons. So you can start pushing it where you want to go. So that's where I'm going. What? It's a come on! Yeah, I kind of saw that coming, to be honest. Didn't mean for that to happen. Can I go onto that? No, okay. Turbo nozzle wouldn't have helped anyway. Given no nozzle really helps. Remember, nothing can save you. They just loaded this place up with cataquacks. Yeah, it's not exciting. It's actually a really hard mission. 
considered one of the hardest missions in the game. It's one of those ones, back when a lot of us used to be streaming, Miss Sayanella and the gang, um, one of the hardest missions that a lot of people were told to do. I only remember this because I guess it was at Missy's stream. Coincidentally, Emil had said <laughs> to do the Watermelon Festival. Because it's just one of the hardest missions in the game. It's a good one to give people when they're like, You guys want to see me fail a lot? Okay, we'll do the Watermelon Mission. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And it's going the wrong way. And it's going the wrong way. No. Where is it? Oh, jeez. It's actually in a decent spot. Leave my Watermelon alone. Oh, jeez. I'm going to crush it by accident. Going that way. No, bring it out from the wall. Am I going to do it? No. Get away. And we made it. Okay. And now, I don't want to say that because I'm going to crush it on the... I'm going to crush it on the person. No. Okay, once you get it here, the last thing to... Oh, jeez. I thought I was going to break on him. The last thing you need to do is you get it across this. If it lands in the water, it pops. Why does a watermelon pop? I don't know. Maybe because it's made of water and water pops. Because a water balloon pops. And a watermelon is just nothing but water. Remember when I told someone I liked watermelon? Do you, when you tell someone you like watermelon, you get one of two things. You either get the racist, you must be black. Or you get the... Or you get the... Um, or you get the... It's nothing but water. You know what? I don't care. Watermelon can be really delicious. Whoa, now that's a big old watermelon like... Oh, he has to be more of a piano type. Whoa, now that's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. I don't even need to get out the caliper for this one. You win. And it goes on top and it goes... And it becomes watermelon juice, which... I don't think watermelon juice tastes that good. Because that's legitimately water. The actual watermelon itself tastes, can, can taste freaking delicious, okay? But, uh... I'm trying to remember. I was gonna tell you something. I was gonna tell you about this game, Mario standing on top of the grater. If you touch that, you actually get hurt. By the way. Anyway, as I was gonna say quickly before I end this episode, oh, I still have like a couple more minutes, so I can talk. Anyway, one thing I was quickly gonna talk about was um this game did do a good job of creating interesting missions. Like a lot of the missions in this game are pretty interesting. I do like, you know, the thing with the Wigglers. You have to figure out how to beat them and stuff. Like Super Mario 64 didn't have anything like that, so I, I am willing to give give it that credit, but uh, I swear to god, oh, I still gotta do the 100 coins and blue coins, we'll do that in the next episode, but uh, yeah, basically, basically, it's it's just one of those things, it's just, it's just, it's it's just like, they did a good job on that, but they ran out of ideas and they didn't want to do what they did in, in 64, so I guess that, that's why they went to so many secret missions, anyway, so I'm gonna end up, bleh, 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 bleh. next time, I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time, Super Mario Sunshine, we're going to be getting the 100 red, the 100 regular coins in Gelato Beach, and we're going to be getting all. No, actually, we can't get all the blue coins there yet, so I'm gonna leave that actually. But we are gonna get the 100 coins there because I figured I might as well get the 100 coins there while I have the chance. So I'll see you guys all next time.